Second video publishing today on the channel. Welcome back everybody. Uh, today's second video is all about figuring out, continuing to figure out what is going to work for hydrating during the marathon. This is my first marathon. Uh, it's a lot different than running an ultra marathon. I'm figuring out, and so I'm I'm testing, and that is, a, you know, this is a good tip for all of the beginner runners out there. If you're getting ready for a half marathon, marathon, maybe an ultra marathon, uh, you definitely want to test out ahead of time the different uh, drink mixes that are available on the marketplace for figuring out what hits your stomach well, what gives you that nice, long, slow burn of energy for two and a half hours, three hours, four hours, however long you're racing. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. I started testing this guy, uh, this company, a couple weeks ago. It's spelled U-C-A-N, You Can Hydrate, and uh, I'll just put this guy right up there. Basically, uh, you can has a couple different options out there. This is their electrolyte replacement drink. So they also have another powder that you can purchase, which is designed more for energy burning. And I need to do a little more research, but I believe you can take both and mix them together. So again, this is why I'm doing this now and not like two weeks before the marathon. You don't want you don't want to wait too you you don't want to do it too close to your peak race. Uh, you want to do it well before the race. And so the next step for me is to test out the you can energy powder and basically figure out okay what is going to be the right combination for the energy powder, the electrolyte powder, and what is going to hit my stomach well. And I've got good news, everybody. So you've seen me mixing this up quite a bit over the last two weeks. On I don't know at least. Uh, it feels like at least a half a dozen times on different runs and so far it's really fascinating but so far I have had no GI issues so what is it gastrointestinal intestinal am I pronouncing that right no GI issues so far using this powder this electrolyte replacement powder for the last two weeks so that's good and um, I haven't been running in very hot temperatures yet um, I guess the other day was about 74 degrees. That's not, I, I realize Fahrenheit, I realize that's not very hot. Uh, but, so it'll be, I guess it'll, it will be interesting to see as the temperatures creep up, how my body responds to the You Can Hydrate uh, electrolyte replacement drink. And the basic premise behind You Can is that it is based around a complex carbohydrate called super starch. And Basically, there's no sugar in here, so the idea, from what I understand, and again, I'm still testing, just so you know, but from what I understand is that it's designed to burn slowly, so you don't spike your blood uh, insulin levels, so you, it's a nice, steady, slow burn. And I must say, like, it's hard to know, like, in your when you're actually out there pounding ground and running and like to really listen to how your body is feeling. Like I need to do better at practicing that just like running and drinking and then listening to how I feel after I drink. I will say I was using this yesterday. You can up on the 14er and I went for, it was almost a four hour run and I drank this for four hours basically. And um, I felt pretty darn good. Like I just was putting it back, putting it back and up on that 14er, I was probably pulling the water bottle up to my mouth with a straw and probably drinking five times per hour, depending on whether I was going up or down in that given hour. So um, yeah, it's so far again, just I, I think I would agree thus far that it feels like a steady burn. So I would say that's good. And I'm just gonna read on the box some of the uh, facts here, the nutrition facts, here we go. Sodium, 310 milligrams, so pretty high. Uh, potassium, remember we talked about potassium at the live stream, check it out, electrolytes, we talked about electrolytes, 90 milligrams, so that's good. Total carbohydrates, one gram, seems a little low to me, but um, that's interesting. And then as far as the ingredients, sodium citrate, citrate dihydrate, citric acid, natural flavor, um, I'm, I'm always a little concerned when I hear natural flavor, like what does that mean? Uh, but I will say it, it tastes really good. Uh, all the flavors I've tried, lemon, lime, watermelon, I think I've tried berry as well. And then also magnesium phosphate, I've heard great things about magnesium, po potassium citrate, monohydrate, salt, uh, stevia extract, and tricalcium phosphate. I'll also just read on the front of the box, no added sugar, 
naturally sweetened, five essential electrolytes, zero calories. So just so you know, for ultra running, I've heard ultra runners say that they don't like mixes like this that don't have calories. They want calories. If you're running for five hours, six hours, 10 hours, over like 24 hour races, you need calories to burn. So anyway, just putting that out there, that's what this, and again, this is not the energy mix from UCAN. This is the electrolyte replacement mix. And we're gonna go with slow as the key word because UCAN uh, is promoting that this is a slow releasing uh, complex carbohydrate, which what they call a super starch. So slow is the key word and I'm very excited to continue to test but I will say I'm intrigued by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Morton, M-A-U-R-T-E-N. I know a lot of elite athletes use Morton, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue to test, and I don't think I'm too close to the marathon to keep testing, but I do wanna nail it down sooner rather than later. So stay tuned for some more thoughts on uh, UCAN and Morton as I get some. And that question of the day, if you're an experienced marathon runner, and I know we've dabbled in this topic, but let's nail it down. What do you drink? in a marathon that's the question of the day what do you drink just put it out there it could be remember we talked about the 1924 paris marathon uh 1924 what were they handing out at aid stations vino that's right red wine so if you're drinking red wine uh more power to you because i have no clue how anybody could finish a marathon drinking wine but that's the question of the day thanks for being here see beauty work hard love each other oh good times good times see you tomorrow